This past year for Call of Duty was, well, a very interesting one to say the least. I think within this past year we had some really high highs in the COD scene, and also some really low lows. Black Ops 4 brought a mix of just about everything you could think of between multiplayer, blackout, and zombies, and when you look past the controversies, which you'd have to look past quite a bit because there was a ton of drama this past year, there was a game that had a lot to offer from day one, with even more promise to come in its lifespan. BO4 launched with the mentality of being a revolutionary Call of Duty, one that would last for years, one that would break the standard COD cycle, etc, etc. So here we are a little over one year after Black Ops 4 initially released, and today I'm going to be breaking down my final thoughts on the game, the good, the bad, and pretty much everything else in between. Before we jump into that though, if you guys are new here, Modern Warfare is right around the corner and I'm going to have a ton of awesome content from day one right here on the channel, so feel free to subscribe with your post notifications turned on if you want to stay on top of everything going on in the world of Call of Duty. And if you enjoyed this video, let me know by dropping a like rating on it as it would be much appreciated. And now let's get into my final thoughts on Black Ops 4. Like I said, it's been an odd year for Call of Duty, both inside of the game and also here on YouTube. I do want to start out by saying that despite the generally negative connotations that Black Ops 4 has associated with it, this past year has been one that I personally will never forget, and that is entirely thanks to you guys. I started making Call of Duty videos back in 2012, and I've posted nearly 2,000 videos in the time since. Now, throughout that past seven and a half years or so, my channel has never seen as much support as it has this past year in Black Ops 4. When the game launched, I believe I had right around 18,000 subscribers, and now here we are headed into Modern Warfare with nearly 55,000 subscribers, which is just utterly insane to me. So, from a content creation standpoint, this year absolutely blew my mind. But anyways, focusing back on the game itself, Black Ops 4 was a game that launched with a lot of potential, and I mean a lot of potential. With Black Ops 3 being the last Treyarch game, and Black Ops 2 being the last time that we saw a boots on the ground game from Treyarch, going into this year, everyone was really looking forward to playing a Call of Duty game that maybe felt like the good old days. And looking back at this past year now, I don't necessarily think that that is what this game felt like. Black Ops 4 didn't really feel like any old Call of Duty game in specific, but instead kind of felt like a nice solid ground between something like BO3 and BO2, where the movement wasn't advanced, but it was a lot smoother than, say, Black Ops 2's. The gameplay felt fast, first and foremost, which is something that I personally really enjoyed. Despite most modes only being 5 versus 5, the game still felt entertaining enough where I wasn't running around aimlessly looking for enemies in most matches. And rather, I felt like I could carelessly rush around and play as aggressive as I wanted to because it felt so fluid and so smooth. And I think that's partially due to 150 health as well, which honestly, I didn't mind. Personally, I don't necessarily prefer the faster TTK of older games or even like MWs or Black Ops 4s, which is a bit longer due to that increased health. Whatever the situation is, I can adapt, you know, I can learn to live with it. Frankly, it doesn't really bother me either way. But the 150 health coinciding with the manual healing ability, I thought made the core gameplay incredibly fun. I for one absolutely love manual healing, I think it's one of the best innovations introduced into Call of Duty because it allows me to take even more control over my gameplay, and in general, I think it speeds up the pace of play all around since you don't have to sit around waiting for auto health regen to kick in. You can engage someone, take some damage, heal up, and immediately engage again, and that takes little to no downtime, and that makes gameplay really, really good in my opinion. But that is just the core gameplay, and while the core gameplay in BO4's multiplayer I thought was honestly solid, the overall gameplay left little to be desired, primarily because of the specialists. The specialists, in my opinion, are the biggest drawback of multiplayer gameplay if you are an average or better player, because they pretty much just take the skill gap and shrink it tenfold. If you are someone like me who likes to quote unquote pub stomp, let's be honest, I'm really a bot, but I like to try and go for those nuclears and fast paced gameplays, and to be racking up streaks only to either lose the streak to something like a dog or a mesh mine or a seeker, or to simply have your streaks hacked and turned against you or completely destroyed by zero is the most frustrating thing, especially when the players using those specialists against you don't particularly have to be crazy good at the game either since all the specialists are earned over time and not via score. A different earning system I think might have been a solid combatant to the frustration that is the specialist in this game, but ultimately specialists remained being one of my least favorite aspects of multiplayer. 
Another thing that I will say about BO4's MP is that pretty early on into the year, I found myself being relatively bored with the gameplay because I just didn't feel like there was a ton of stuff to grind for. After completing Dark Matter and hitting Prestige Master, I just didn't feel like there was anything left to do. You know, sure I could have gone for a level 1000, but frankly, that's just not a thing that really piques my interest all that much, especially since the only Prestige Master rewards were various level icons. Now, if there was something like exclusive Mastercrafts or specialist outfits, or just something more exciting than level icons, maybe going for a level 1000 would have felt more exciting. But in its current state, it just wasn't a huge attraction to me. Outside of that, the grind incentives in this game were pretty few and far from in multiplayer, so while the core gameplay was fun, there really weren't many larger objectives to go for, making multiplayer a little lackluster for me this past year. So while MP was not cutting it for me, I jumped over to Blackout, and from the get-go, I absolutely loved it. Throughout the past few years, I've spent plenty of time playing other Battle Royale games from H1Z1 and its heyday of like preseason 3 and whatnot, to PUBG here and there, to Fortnite as well, and without a doubt, Blackout is leaps and bounds above all of those games in my opinion. Now, Fortnite is a fun game, don't get me wrong, but as far as comparing it to Blackout goes, the only similarity they share is their genre. Blackout from an FPS standpoint is a battle royale game that I want to play day in and day out, and for the past few months, that's exactly what I've been doing. I'm sure you guys have been able to tell if you've paid close attention to the channel, but after a few months of BO4, my background gameplay in my videos changed from being predominantly multiplayer gameplay to almost exclusively Blackout gameplay, because Blackout is a mode that I can just grind and grind and grind without feeling bored, mainly because in classic BR fashion, each game is different, your loadout isn't guaranteed, the zone is always changing, and it feels fresh constantly. I absolutely loved Blackout this past year, and in addition to the core gameplay in Blackout being really awesome, the updates that Blackout saw throughout the year were equally as impressive. As far as the LTMs go, Hot Pursuit was easily one of my favorites. I really do think it was the best part of Operation Grand Heist, which for the most part I really wasn't too huge on, and the mode itself made Blackout even crazier and even more hectic. We also had Ambush, Close Quarters Frenzy, Pandemic, Ground War, and Heavy Metal Heroes that I all seriously enjoyed. The Bounty Hunter mode I really wasn't too huge on, but the idea was cool nonetheless. So the LTMs were absolutely awesome in my opinion. We also had Alcatraz introduced as the first and only alternative Blackout map, and to this day I think Alcatraz is my favorite Blackout experience just because of how hectic and how fast paced it plays. On top of all of that, we also had various map updates go live on the regular Blackout map, changing the lighting tones and the vibrancy on the map with different seasons, and we had new locations added in like Hijacked and Ghost Town, and various smaller unnamed locations as well, which also kept the game feeling fresh and fun throughout the year. So where multiplayer fell off in terms of entertainment, Blackout seriously picked up the slack and kept me thoroughly excited to play the game day in and day out for the majority of the year. Now I think I have a total of like 37 minutes logged in zombies this past year so I'm not really going to speak too much on that, but outside of the core gameplay in each mode, that is where Black Ops 4 really fell short in my opinion. The game's additional content just did not live up to the hype and to the potential that the game launched with. We saw so, so many opportunities of improvement along the way, and honestly, very few were actually seized, leaving a not-so-great impression on a lot of players. We didn't see community contracts outside of the grav, we saw non-cosmetic items added to reserves, we saw MTX completely overwhelm and overload the game, and in general, post-launch, the game's additional content really was not the most ideal in all reality. So, all things considered, Black Ops 4's gameplay was something that I really enjoyed throughout the majority of the year. But, in the end, the core gameplay itself was just not enough to keep this game alive, especially in today's gaming scene where post-launch support is so vital to keeping a game active and popular. So, honestly, I do think Black Ops 4 is a solid game, I don't think it's bad by any means, but I do think it definitely fell short of its initial mark and it most certainly lost its potential as the year went on. BO4 was far from perfect, but it was also far from bad in my mind, so to me, it sits in the middle of the pack alongside all the other decent but not great CODs that we've seen before. It doesn't compete with MW2 or BO2, which are my two favorite Call of Duties, and it was a game that had plenty of cool surprises and plenty of unwanted ones as well. With that being said, that is effectively going to wrap things up for today. 
If you guys enjoyed the video, let me know by dropping a like rating on it as it would be much appreciated. And of course, if you are new here to the channel and you want to stay on top of the latest Call of Duty news and intel, feel free to subscribe with your post notifications turned on. That way you'll always know when a new video goes live. As always, be sure to use code IMMORTAL on all G Fuel, Control Freak, and Respawn products. All of those links can be found down in the description below. And once again, thanks so much for tuning in. Until next time, take it easy, have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.